Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will be seeing how we can implement this architecture in SuperSight using Ready Celery. Uh, definitely we will not be using these kind of clusters and everything. Everything I am going to install on single virtual machine. But you can have multiple virtual machines. So let's create a virtual machine. Uh, okay, before that we already have this GitHub configured. I am going to modify it a bit. Uh, once we go because this is again theory thing i am going to update if we face any issue so i am using azure this time so resource group is going to be let's learn virtual machine is let's uh, learn super set this is okay this one we can use 22.04 lts uh, this is okay I can use password I don't need okay so we are allowing 22 create and review and we are going to start this virtual machine so it is it will take some time I'll get back once it is created our virtual machine is ready let's uh, go here let me copy public IP and SSH Ubuntu at the rate IP address yes okay type yes it says permission denied okay uh, I hope it is correct yes it is so let's start with the things that we have with update and upgrade basically the same thing okay so everything is fine let's install ready server okay ready server is installed how we can check it sudo system ctl status redis so it is running it is showing active running so it is running now we will start with superset so this thing uh, i am going to edit it i actually copied it here so which one uh, we will be using python 3.10 so that's why i am installing this as well as so i ch change few things okay let me copy and run it okay so this is installed and uh, uh, okay if you if this 3.10 gives you error then you need to install these things but now it didn't give error so that is fine let me quickly create a app then okay this is going to give us error because user is not here so we need ubuntu which is our user now it is fine let's cd then mkdr superset our superset directory go inside directory and let me quickly check is it the correct syntax okay so our python 3 is 3.10 so we don't need to worry about anything so i'm just going to go ahead and do this if your python 3 is not 3.10 then if it is 3.9 it is fine if it is uh, uh, other than 3.10 or 3.9 then you need to use 3.10 syntax because we already installed it using this so you need to use python 3.10 syntax so instead of python 3 use python 3.10 that's it now our python 3 is ready so let's activate and then install setup tools it is saying already satisfied okay i am doing everything on purpose because i created this virtual machine from fresh so it should be similar scenario for you as well because we will be on same page and if i face any issue then definitely you are also going to face same and uh, hopefully that will help us resolve issues so superset is installing it will take a bit of time because it is going to install lot of dependencies and everything so let's wait okay so superset is installed let's install this okay this is some okay so why we installed this this because we are going to use postgres sql as our metadata database so that is going to be required if you are using anything else then definitely we will need to install drivers for that database 
so for you then postgresql might not be necessary so you can skip it okay so now all of our dependencies is ready and let's create our configuration file so before okay so let's export it and edit the configuration file let me copy it and paste it here okay i see something is not correct where is our cursor okay so this should be how many i gave one two three four one two three four so it might be the error while i copied it to github but uh, indentation otherwise python will throw error with the indentation so okay so this is fine let me save it and instead of using this database url let me do one thing and uh, i already have it ready so i am going to copy postgres from here to here so our postgres is ready now only thing remaining that is our own random generated secret key so i am going to close it and generate our random generated key from here let us paste it here hmm. okay so everything is looking fine to me as of now so let's do this export our flask app let me clear and start db upgrade before we start doing db upgrade let's do one thing let me go to postgres sql and close whatever we have and let me open metadata database so you can see here we have a public schema and uh, we do have some tables i guess uh, let me do one thing let me delete it and create new database what was the name let me copy no wait let me copy it from here to here and save so now hopefully there will not be anything in here okay so we don't have any tables let's run db upgrade what happened okay now let's refresh this thing now you can see all the tables are available in here so now this database is getting used as a metadata table so everything all the configuration all the users roles permission everything is going to be here so that is done let's go back and create our admin user admin is going to be admin 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 okay so admin user is created i'm not going to load any examples and copy it paste it okay so everything is done our superset is initialized and let's create the file to run superset copy from here uh, let's save it close it get it uh, superset and run it okay so again i guess i missed we need to install it i'll add this as well let me copy it over here so that i will not forget we did not run this we ran the above one and this one so pip install this so okay it will be installed before we come to this place and let's run it now uh, most likely that we are not able to access it using l 088 why because uh, our connection is so the firewall is not configured 
सो लेट मी गो टू नेटवर्क सेटिंग एंड क्रिएट अ पोर्ट रूल वी नीड इन बाउंड रूल सोर्स एनी पोर्ट रेंज एट जीरो एट एट डेस्टिनेशन एनी फाइन जीरो एट एट अलाउ प्रायरिटीज ओके एड सो नाउ यू कैन सी इट इज जस्ट लोडिंग वन सीट इज एडेड लेट मी एंटर इट अगेन ओके लेट मी फुल्ली ओपन इट ओके सो ना यू कैन सी इट इज अवेलेबल आई मीन डेफिनेटली इट्स नॉट गुड प्रैक्टिस टू फुली ओपन इट बट प्रोबेबली आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू कंसिडर इट करेक्टली दैट इज अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी बट ना यू कैन सी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन एंड एवरीथिंग इज रनिंग फाइन सो लेट्स किल इट आई एम गोइंग टू किल इट क्लियर एंड लेट्स मूव टू क्रिएशन ऑफ सैलरी so what is that salary thing it is okay, what is this i'm not sure uh, okay so before even that let's create superset service so inside this i'm going to paste this content uh okay there are few things that i need to fix save saved okay and then once it is saved let me copy these things okay so now let's check if our super set is running using status okay our super set is serv super set service is running let me go to the portal and refresh it and go some places yes it is working fine so our super set service is ready now to create salary let's create salary service or uh, salary executable file so just like now you can see we just have run superset.sh i am just going to create similar run salary.sh in that place again we have superset export uh the configuration path then we are going to activate our environment then we are going to run our workers and then build so this is uh, this is for uh, email sending and uh, task scheduling and so on uh, it is not configured as of now but i have kept it in future if you need to send email so you will not have to configure it manually so let me close it and uh, do same thing and let's run it okay so how are we going to check so to do that what i am going to do i am going to go here i am going to create a connect database postgres sql instead of using this i am going to use this thing and uh, i am going to copy this and replace i hope there are some tables i tried to restore other database to here but uh, hope at least one table should be here where is where house tables yes there are at least i mean there are lot of tables so i'm going to do this test connection connection with goods uh, dwh this is my data warehouse and i'm going to connect it database connected go to database connection now now we are using asynchronous task execution so how to enable that you are going to use asynchronous query execution here it is saved let's go to sql lab and let me check select now 
now when we run that you will let's monitor this i am just going to run it you can see uh, this is the salary run thing it is saying okay one query executing set query to running and so on running one out of one storing result into backend and then you can see it is here the result is here this is how the seller is going to work whenever something is going to be running in asynchronous it is going to send this to salary workers salary workers is going to check it and then run it now let's see what happens if i stop it so now seller is not running you can see when i start it is going to be pending 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 and pending forever because this superset inform redis okay i want result of this and then it is not running now what see what happens when i just run salary still it is pending it automatically detected okay we there is a result there is a something that we need it executed as soon as worker is running so this is how it is very much independent of uh, superset so you can have more than one salary workers running so salary worker consider it as a compute uh, more than one computes running more than one vms running each one will be having its own set of uh, processes so those will handle query execution and so on so that is how it is let's kill it and once done let's create sup uh, let's create service for salary as well because we don't want it to be killed or we want it to come back online as soon as uh, vm starts so this one is already is created you can see we are using execution start for salary i'm going to copy it paste it save close now again same thing as we created new service we are going to re reload the demo uh enter it that is my password definitely and i do not use that password anywhere it is just for here because i'm going to terminate this vm as soon as i complete this video let's check status of salary it is run now let's try querying superset again let's to check if we get result now we got result now let's go to public schema let's go to orders and select no data result return maybe there is nothing inside this it it failed ex uh, the restoration that's why but uh, that is let's take some other table hmm. okay so let's query it select star from public dot customer run it so this is how the data is getting resulted and this is how salary superset is getting configured and uh, this is how a synchronous task execution will be performed in superset so that's it for this video if you have any question please let me know you can contact me on contact at directcentanukhon.me if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye